This is a team that takes every home game very seriously. And you can see that from their shot earlier as they came through the tunnel. And the game arrivals sponsored by Express. Press like a pro. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us on 2K Sports. NBA action is coming up. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. And David Aldridge is standing by for our pregame report. David, good evening. Well, Kevin Durant said his days of trying to prove himself through basketball are done. He said, walking around with a chip on my shoulder is not my thing. I'm more relaxed than letting these days flow. I'm the best version of me. I don't need to prove who I am. I've been in it for too long. Kevin, this is a guy who was finally comfortable with himself. All right, thanks, DA. Now the starting group for the visitors. Clark, there's nothing like opening night. Preseason in the rearview mirror. Now the game's come to be real. Colored. Terrific time. Yeah, exciting for everybody because hope springs eternal for all teams in the league after you get beyond preseason. And the games do count. They start calculating and documenting W's and L's. Nice tip in there. I mean, he's got like a sixth sense in terms of where the miss is going to go. That is really a talent. Hillis, the pass to Blackshear. Six on the shot clock. Right wing. Here's Jacobson. Rebounded by Coleman. And he dunks it down. And for a power forward, he can sure get up. I mean, because of that leaping ability, it kind of offsets his height disadvantage. It's Fields on the wing. Nixon, the pass to Fields. And the layup's good off the glass. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. Okay. Okay. Not there. Poor design there defensively. They, they know he's a knockdown shooter from that spot. And you do not want to let him get going early because that can get you cooked. And there's the three-second call, this one on the defense. And he shows the focus there, nails the technical. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Passes it to Willis. Got a piece of it. Here's the break. Here's Coleman. Throws down the breakaway jam. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. What? You, you mean the throw down at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. And Fields kicks to Willis. Pass to Jacobson. Four on the shot clock. Here's Fields. No good with the elbow jumper. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That free throw, no good. And the second free throw, good. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. They retain possession. It's good. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes played. Now the pass to Hendricks. Let's it fly. Money from the wing. And the story here, Kevin, early on, is how well they've shot the basketball. Very high percentage so far, and if you want to start a game hot, that's the way to do it. Jacobson, the pass to Nixon. Here's Blackshear. 
Got a hand on it. Oh, nice. And they're on the break. Three-pointer. Offensive rebound. Oh, how about the deft touch right there, guys? He just guided that ball back up and in. Just a fingertip touch on the ball. That's exactly right. No need to catch it when you've got the kind of soft hands that he does. Here's Jacobson. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And it's blocked. Hi, Clark. Game is on the line. One free throw to make to win a big game. Who is up there for you? I'd go with your colleague and mine. Oh, yeah. But since he's no longer in uniform today, I will go with Steph Curry and Malcolm Brogdon. Great names. Clark, it seems that guards are rebounding now more than ever. Uh, what do you make of that trend? You know what, Kevin? I think it's a function of how the game is played. More and more teams play small ball where they really don't have a big guy out there or a traditional center out there. You may have guards and wings, and oftentimes your tallest guy might be 6'8". So it makes it important for guards and everybody to rebound the ball. So I think you see more guards getting more rebounds because of teams playing small ball as a function of the three-point shots importance in the game. 15 feet away, Franks. It's good on the putback. Way to work the class, buffet style. Second chance bucket. They can make a big difference. Pass to Musa. From 12 feet out, first shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Well, everything's coming too easily. I mean, at some point, defensively, defensively, you have to take something away. Cantonella. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that's the message they were sending with that foul. Nothing easy inside. And he makes the first. He doesn't get the second one. Picked his pocket. Ah. And Jones oh. sends it back. Yeah. Price outside. He's now one for two with that bucket. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points in close range. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. The shot, no good. We've got 22 seconds left in the first quarter. Inside, right block shot, it's blocked. Oh, you oh, finally get it. the foul and almost hit the three point bucket, but he'll go to the line to shoot three. Yeah, you, you hate to give up a foul on a three point attempt. Yeah, unnecessary. I mean, make them earn those points from deep, don't give them to them free at the line. No good on the second free throw. Sucks. And he nails oh, the third. Gets it off. And no good. And so it's the visiting team. Oh, in control oh. with a oh, nine-point oh. lead to end the quarter. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. And we'll be back with you shortly.
so far through one quarter. It's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. Blizzards. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the visiting team, what do you think? What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you, you look at the energy, the effort defensively, they put it all out there in that opening quarter. Here's Blackshear. Out of piece of it. And that goes out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. And Clark, when you were playing, I imagine the pre-draft process was a lot different than it is today. No doubt about it. I mean, I came out in 1982 after my junior year, Kevin, and at that time, if you were a guy who was declaring early, you basically just had to go on whatever knowledge and information you could get from whoever because there was no allowing you. You weren't allowed to go to a workout. Teams could interview you, but there were no on-court workouts, so it was totally different than today. Kicks to Jones. From 15 feet away, that shot is no good, and he's one for three from the floor. The rebound by Blackshear. I mean, he thought he had a clear path to the hoop, but the defense didn't give up on that play Ooh. and cut him off. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. Here's Hendricks. Misses that one. He's 0 for 1 from the floor. And the activity he shows around the rim it is why he is such a respected defender. And you know what? He's not uh. going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just a, against his constitution. Well, they are just killing him on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. That one misses for Jones. Gone 0-3 and are still looking for that first bucket here in the second quarter. Pulls up on the wing. The putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. Gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter. Three of six. To the paint. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. And a moment now to look at the stats for Cole. Great showing for him last season. Putting in about 26 points per. Six assists and six rebounds. And he was their top scorer throughout last season. Well, his teammates knew whenever they really needed a basket, just look his way. Here's Cole. He has six. Fields covering. Shot from the top of the key. And Willis pulls it down. Tell you what, that is a missed opportunity from mid-range for sure. With as little defense as was shown, should have made that one gone four of seven from the field in this second quarter so far. Now Fields. Nine point game his last outing. That ties it up. And that makes it a tie ball game. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Here's Cole. That's tipped. And they're moving it up. And he caps off the fast break with a monster slam. And the defense to start that play was terrific. I love the fact that they attacked early in the shot clock. Steps back and shoots. And he wills that one that in, one. sinking right through off the back iron. And how about that move? You'll see very few players able to pull off just sensational stuff. Ten feet out, and no good that time. 
Boy, you've really got to put those away, especially against soft interior defense. Coleman gets the bucket. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. Gone 6 of 10 from the floor here in the second quarter. And he lobs it up toward the rim. And here's the break. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And the first one at the line is good. Both good from the line that time. Fields with it. Passes it to Jacobson. Shoots the three. That's a miss, his second after two shots. Gone three of eight from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. Here's Cole. Fields covering, and it's Cole missing. Usually, guys, he's going to knock that one down from there. Proficient at operating in that medium range area. Here's Jacobson. Price, right side. They get a hand on it. Pass to Fields. Five on the clock to the middle. Here's Jacobson, and it is flushed down with a nice jam. Puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down. He really does, G.A. He really does put pressure on you. And you know, guys, showing how dynamic a weapon he is for this offense, they feed off of that energy and ability to make plays. It gets them going. There's the pass to Musa. Get there, get there. Shoot there. 1.04 left in the first half. Good on the three-point shot. Seven points in the game. And they've got to talk to each other on D there. Miscommunication, and now he's able to make them pay. Pass to Price. Oh. Okay. Here's Musa. Fields covering. Musa with the bucket. Really crisp intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Gone 7 to 13 for the field since the start of the second. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. How about the perseverance offensively? I mean, following up the missed shot, and that results in second and third opportunities. Greg, you've often heard it said that sometimes it boils down to who wants it, but who wants it is also tied to putting yourself in position to go get it. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Yeah, tit for tat on the glass. Just one more aspect of what's been a very closely contested ball game here. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. I like the recognition of the mismatch there, immediately making the defense pay. From deep, and that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's the visiting team heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They've been playing some ferocious defense, and we'll be right back after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. Checking out the visiting team. Shaq, let's get your insight on the visiting team. Well, they're getting higher percentage looks, good game planning, the ball is moving around. Guys aren't pulling the trigger at the first thing they see. They're definitely staying visible. That's a big part of what has them having the lead at the half. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about this home team? In my mind, the defense was weak, very weak. They're letting guys run free, getting open shot, and no one, I mean no one on that team is stepping up. I know a premium has been placed on scoring in our league, but you still have to play defense because defense wins championships. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Go over there. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Sports. 
Syracuse, 36, Xavier, 29. And the home team has possession. Seven-point differential. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. We've got Blackshear, and it's Willis in at the four. Count it. And it's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. Here's Cole. And Willis pulls it down. Third quarter action getting rolling right now. Brought to you by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. They've got Willis. And it's Jacobson in at the one spot. Passes it to Hendricks. Here's Cole. The rebound by Fields. In about 42% so far. Down low. Second shot opportunity, and Willis gets it to go. Willis has got seven. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound and advantage is starting to add up. Yeah, still close, but with their tough play on the boards, we're certainly seeing the effort. Cole, the pass to Coleman. Pocket six. The layup off target out of sync to begin this half. Oh, for their first three attempts. Hope loose. And they're running. Lays it in off the breakaway. Eight points for him. Finally, they get one to drop. That's one of their first four here in the third. Jacobson, the pass to Nixon. Fires from deep. That one, no good. I'm all right with him taking that shot close to the hoop, but really not. <laughs> but me just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA, the lead is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. Gone two of five, shooting here in the third quarter. Jacobson, the pass to Blackshear. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And a year ago, he was an 80% shooter at the line, so that's more than acceptable. And that one falls for Blackshear. Good on both. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. Over to the left wing. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Puts it up from 15, and the shot goes in. Cole's got 10 points. Watch out now. When this guy gets into a rhythm, it is something to behold. Jacobson, the pass to Blackshear. to the left side wing. Five to shoot. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. On Friday, they'll face off against Step Paul away. George. Then oh, on Paul Sunday. George. Paul George. Two shots. First free throw is good. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. And that efficiency, Greg, as you know, so critical when you're looking to overcome a deficit. You've got to be close to perfect and can't waste scoring opportunities. Poked away, the feed to Cole, and field goal attempts here in the second half. Jacks up a three. Hits yes. the three-point bomb. Not a bunch of energy from the defense, which is why he was free to knock that down. And it's blocked. Wow. 156 left in the third. Takes a three. Good on the triple. Six points for him. 
And that's back to back three. <laughs> he looks sad. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. Gone just 25% from the field here in the second half. They're two of eight. Always going up for the alley oop here. And Jones slams it home. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. And that's what those alley-oops will do for a team. Ignition switch ignited. Good work defensively by Jones. Being 40% from the field. One fourteen left here in the third quarter. Nine shot, no good. Gone even five of ten on shot attempts in the third. A baseline J. What? No good off the back I of the rim. Pretty dunk. terrible here in the third quarter at around thirty percent. And if they're thinking they can get a two for one here. Well, we'll see if they have the awareness to realize that. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First free throw is good. And so he makes both from the line. Well, he's come through for them at the line today, and you love having a big fella who's so capable on his free throw. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Left side, Price. That shot, no good. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. Oh. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. And so it's the visiting team. Their lead of 11 points to end the quarter. A good size advantage, and they'll look to increase it. They'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, and with the accuracy to go along with that vision. I mean, he put the ball in the absolute Score perfect spot. That's how you the orchestrate the team. 39 as we start the And quarter. we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. He's covered by Willis from 13, and the jumper is good. The entire defense was frozen foot. Nobody picked up the shooter, Kevin. It's raining buckets from inside. Well, the defensive rotations, Greg, have been a step slow, and it's really helped them get that ball inside time after time. Oh. The turnaround and misses it off the right side of the rim. And, you know, even though they're on top, they're winning, I mean, they could use more from him trying to shut the door on this one. Nobody even close to him, and he can't believe he doesn't knock it down. That's the Coleman. to the left wing. Here's Musa. That three off the mark. Thing has been a little ragged, just 38% from the field. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single-digit lead. He's gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Out left to the wing. 
fires from 18, and it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. It's Fields on the wing. And Ken shot. Nixon gets the bucket. That kind of energy and hustle on the glass usually produces good results. Catanella. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And he can't get the first one. On 11. He hits the second from the line. Still on three five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Here's Jacobson. Here's Blackshear. Oh. And it's blocked. And the ball ends up out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Here's Willis. Willis has gone three of eight, shooting from the floor. Pantanella, Fields covering, lets it go. They grab their own miss. Hendricks comes up empty from eight feet. Here's Blackshear, off target from outside. You know, he's been off tonight, off his game. At this point, he might want to focus on creating for others. The pass to Coleman. down low and how about the bounce pass they are being used to perfection here's Jacobson here's Blackshear pass to Jacobson down to five on the shot clock here's the break and it's Nixon with the rebound Nixon's got his fourth rebound in this one. Blackshear tips it up, controls the rebound, and puts it back up and in. Boy, fighting to keep that play alive. Beautiful tip in there. And with this game closing in on the final buzzer, let's take a look at our Jordan player of the game. And his percentage from the field tonight seems almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting the basketball. You, you need a little bit of luck, a bunch of hard work, and a whole lot of talent. There must be something about playing in a hostile environment that drives him. He is really fed off that. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey guys, well during the break I was able to catch the message the visiting team coach gave to his team. He's encouraged where they are at this point in the game, but he told his guys things can turn in a blink. What we need to do is execute the rest of the way. So we'll see if they can finish this one off, Kevin. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. Here's Blackshear. No good with the layup. Being pretty well at 46% from the floor. Here's Coleman. And Willis pulls it down. Willis has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Pulls it up. Jacobson can't get it to go. Jacobson's gone one of six shooting so far. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. And he knocks down the first one. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. 60. 114 left here in the fourth quarter. Here's Blackshear. Jones trying to get open, and Blackshear gets it to go. And the defense no factor, which is why he simply laid it in. Thing in this fourth quarter, pretty dire at 27%. Out to the wing. Off with the layup. Well, you know, stopping him is never easy to do, but the defense was strong there. And he makes oh. that one. 
43 seconds left in the game. Puts one up from 19. The rebound by Blackshear. Guys, no real chance for them to come back now. Yeah, I think the focus has to be on their next game at this point. Shot clock in game clock separated by less than six seconds. Here's Jacobson. And it's off from three-point range. Eek. A little ugly in these last few minutes, but I wonder shit. Offline. And so the road team gets the W in this one. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. And, and Kevin, how about the mental toughness that this group showed? They, they were never yes. rattled at all by the opposing fans. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long, everyone.